Hey everybody, this is Chris again with uh, Four Directions Bushcraft. I just wanted to go over real quick a um, uh, some flint napping tools that I used and that I've learned uh, how to make. Uh, the real cheap. Um, the one I'm going to go over today is um, what I call a copper bopper, and um, this is actually a one-inch uh, copper bopper that I made um, out of a piece of uh, dead pine. A copper uh, cap like this one that you pick up at any hardware store uh, that's the most expensive thing uh, with this obviously and then um, so they come in different sizes um, half inch one inch and uh, wait this is a three-fourths inch I think three-fourths inch half inch and this is gonna be the one inch and I just take a piece of um, dead pine like this I carve it down um, I make sure the cap just fits around it real loose around one end what I'm gonna do is take my knife and I'm gonna carve this down until it's rounded and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this cap on it and I'm gonna beat beat down on it until the cap is rounded on the top. Um, let me go ahead and do that. We'll get back to you and uh, I'll explain some of this other stuff that's out here. Hey everybody, we're back. I um, just rounded off that piece of uh, pine. Here's my one inch cap. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use this as a template and um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna beat this edge down until it's uh, until it's no longer until it's rounded. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like. But uh, the best way to do this is to put this in a vise, and then you can spin this cap around as you hit it on the top uh, with the hammer. Um, I don't have a vise right now where I'm at, um, but uh, I'm gonna put this on something sturdy, and I'm gonna go ahead and beat it down. And I'll show you what it looks like uh, here in a minute when we get done. So, like I said, I don't I don't have a vise right now, so I'm just going to use this piece of leather and this cinder block. And I'm just going to rest it on top of here. It, this does take a little bit longer, uh, like this, if you don't have a vise. But uh, I'm just going to tap the top of this and spin it around until this top portion is is. Um, domed shaped uh, around that template and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put it on this end like that and that's gonna be my copper bobber that I strike my flint with but uh, there's a couple more steps you got to do so I'm gonna pound this some more this takes a little bit using this copper like this as tops, as you guys probably already know, uh, allows you to get uh, longer flakes, longer shock waves through your um, through your flint. Um, here's some examples of my flint that I have here in Missouri. Uh, I heat treat all this flint. I'll do a video on that later, some other time. But um, it uh, it allows you to get longer flakes. Uh, that way, you can get some manageable uh, pieces to make some uh, arrowheads out of. But uh, I'll get back with you here in just a minute. Ew. Hey everybody, we're back. So I got um, I got our copper uh, copper top um, beat down um, so that it's domed, so it swivels like that now. So what we're gonna do is you just leave this end as your template, so you'll actually be holding on to it like this when it's finished striking your flint so um, you want your top to be like I said just a little bit bigger so it spins like this uh, what we're gonna do is get this ready to uh, place on your the end of your handle and what we do is take a little bit of sandpaper any any grit you just want to roughen up this uh, the inside of this copper so it takes uh, it takes some lead that we're gonna put in it uh, I just get old wheel weights from um, 
tire shop down the street. Uh, melt them down with my torch uh, and drip it into the cap about halfway up the cap. Um, let that dry and uh, and then I, I place my piece of pine uh, in there and I secure it. I also I, I clean it out again with the sandpaper and then I secure it with my glue. So that's what we're gonna do now. I got Gorilla Glue, Super Glue. Uh, you just need a little bit of this and uh, I'll tell you this stuff. I've made these two out of it. Same way and uh, they work excellent. I mean this Gorilla Glue really works. So the whole process is really easy. Um, so I'm just gonna clean the inside of this, get it rough. That way the chemical bond between the lead and the copper really sticks in there. Your uh, copper weight's not gonna not gonna fly out. Your glue won't fly out. Um, or your copper top won't fly off when you're striking your flint. Um, so this one inch copper uh, top is pretty big. It's gonna act like one of your hammer stones. So this is just quartz hammer stone that I um, that I found. Uh, you can go to creek beds a lot. Here in Missouri, we have tons of creeks, tons of rivers, obviously, tons of this chert. And um, you can find these hammer stones. This is one that I've used a lot. It's starting to get dinged up. Um, here's a nice hammer stone. Uh, so this copper, this one inch copper top is gonna act more like one of these hammer stones. Um, these, this half inch, yeah, three quarters inch or half inch. Three quarters inch or half inch, I think it might be half. No, this is three quarter inch and this is half. So anyway, I get it mixed up. But anyway, this um, three quarter inch acts more uh, for like detailed uh, flaking for little smaller pieces, obviously. And then uh, you work your way up from there. And as you get used to flint napping, which I'm still learning, but I, I have, as you get used to flint napping, the different tools, um, uh, you'll use you'll use a little bit differently and you'll find out which ones you like best sorry you're gonna hear a lot of cars and planes out here uh, we're not in the woods obviously we're just outside of my place so uh, antler tide is what they uh, like to use a lot uh, I haven't got the hang of antler tide too too much I usually stick with the copper bobbers and also my uh, little copper pre uh, pressure flakes pressure flaking instruments I'll go over that here in just a minute but uh, they like to use antler tides. Uh, uh, this is from a deer. Um, they also have antler tides from elk, elk antler tides. Um, they use that a lot as well. So we're gonna clean this up and I'm gonna get prepared to, um, so we got this scraped out enough as I was talking. I'm gonna get prepared to um, melt some of this. Just gonna need a uh, regular propane torch, a glove, and some pliers, and you're gonna need an old knife. Uh, there's a lot of other things in these old wheel weights, uh, a lot of dirt and stuff. After you get done melting it, you're gonna wanna scrape that dirt out of there a little bit. And uh, so basically, I'm gonna go with these longer ones. Basically, you just hold this, turn on your torch, and you're just gonna just gonna slowly melt this in there until you get it, like I said, about halfway. I'm gonna zoom up, like an overhead shot into this. So you're just putting that that lead in here. Dude, you don't want that metal piece in there, obviously.
So we just fill it up about halfway. I have uh, some unmelted lead in here as well. So really I just heat up the copper top until it all turns to liquid, levels out on its own. It'll take it a minute. There we go, starting to melt. Like I said, this is a real easy way to make your own stuff. You don't have to spend a lot of money on it. It's real cheap. So it looks like... Turn this off. Looks like we're good to go with that. So, what I'll do is... Now, I'll scrape away some of this excess dirt out of here. I'm almost done with this copper top. I just scraped all this lead out of here. That was bad. We'll let that cool down and level out. Like I said, it's about halfway up. And um, as that's cooling down... I am going to tell you a little bit about this pressure flaker. Now I make the pro pressure flakers sim, you know, pretty much the same way. I wrapped a bunch of um, 550 cord around this, and I actually super glued the 550 cord down um, just so it, it would hold in place, give me a, a better, a little bit better grip. Uh, when I do these pressure flaking. Um, I always wear gloves anyway because it'll, it'll tear up your hands. It takes quite a bit of pressure, obviously, hence the name Pressure Flaker. But uh, anyway, it's just a piece of pine that I've carved down on both ends. And uh, I put a piece of copper wire. I forgot how thick this is. Uh, pretty thick copper wire in the ends of these. And then I go ahead and I take a, I don't have my file out here, but I take my file and I, and I sharpen them down to a point. You can put a little dab of glue in there as well. I think I did. And it uh, helps hold that in there, but I drive these down in here. And so um, that becomes my pressure flakers. I flatten this tip down to do the ends of my arrowheads, the notches where I tie them onto my, um, my arrows. And uh, this one I leave pointed to do my uh, the sides of my arrows. Um, again, with the uh, with the copper, uh, you get longer flakes through the uh, longer shock waves, hence then longer flakes through your uh, flint. Your cap's ready, so I'm going to clean it out one more time with my sandpaper, just to make a um, good uh, surface area for my gorilla glue to bond to my pine. And I just have, probably can't see that, but it's about halfway. And I cleaned it up with that. And then I just take and put it on the end. Of my, of my pine handle, flatten that out a little bit, and then what I'll do is I'll just add A little bit of glue to it
just roll it around the edge. You don't really need too much. And then I'll also add some to the pine itself. And then you're gonna let this dry and then you'll be ready to go. So, again, this is an easy way just to do your, you know, your own thing. You don't have to buy expensive tools to do this. Uh, these will get you by until you learn your technique. And uh, it's what bushcraft's all about anyway, doing your own thing, learning from others, um, and having fun. So I'll have some more videos up on how to, uh, how to flint nap a little bit and um, but for now I'm gonna let this dry and you guys have a good evening this is Chris with uh, four directions bushcraft on how to make your own copper boppers <laughs>